Hey guys, it's me Dominique coming at you guys with another video. This is the Hey 2016 video. I actually got this video from Mrs. T here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. She titled it What's Up um 2000 um what's yeah, what's up 2016? It was something regarding resolutions like New Year's resolutions, which she said she doesn't really do, which I kind of agree. I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I do goals and declarations i don't really do resolutions but so she titled hers what's up 2016 i'm titling mine hey 2016 um if you had to choose one word to describe 2015 would it be what would it be now if i had to choose one word to describe it last year it would be boring like that why because that's the first word that came to mind when i thought about last year like despite my surgery last year my year was pretty like routine nothing spectacular like that i can think of happened it was just like but i think it was also because of my attitude because i was so focused on one thing last year which was my surgery and it's just I, to me it was boring like i didn't really set out to do anything but that last year which versus this year i setting out to do so much more than just one thing so, yeah, I, the one word I was describing would be boring. Um, what word would you choose to represent goals in 2016? The word I would choose to represent my goals for this year would be life-changing. I am planning on making life-changing things happen. Having life-changing experiences in a good way, in a positive way. I'm planning, that is my word for 2016 life changing life altering like all positive though like that's my thing i want to change i want think things i want this year is going to be all about changing and building going forth um how old will you turn in 2016 actually i've already turned 30 in 2016 as some of you may know my birthday was january 4th i turned 30 i am in my 30s i'm officially officially a part of the 30 club so yeah i turned 30 in 2016 already because you know my birthday is at the beginning of the year so yeah 2016 travel plans okay I have a couple of traveling plans but like I said it in a previous video that I just did um I'm all about energy so I don't like to share things in detail until they're really in motion because I feel like I don't want to jinx things and I don't want to I don't want to like leave things to other people's energy because everybody's energy is not really the same so i really don't know how to place this in words but I'm, I'm hoping you guys get what i'm saying um but i do have a couple of traveling plans i plan on taking some family trips this year more than one because that's something you know we take our yearly um family trip to plant city for the strawberry festival besides that i plan on taking another family trip this year i plan on doing a, a couple of getaways with my husband I plan on doing some maybe couples trips, couples retreats with some of our couple friends. I plan on sending my children away. And a lot of these will be in state, cross country, and overseas. So yeah, that's my travel plans for 2016. Any bad habit for 2015 that you would change? Um I can't think of any bad habits per se right now not at the top of my head that i want to change so yeah a trend from 2015 that you would like to keep in 2016 um a trend that i would like from 2015 that i would like to keep um i don't know if it's a trend per se but i guess the whole self-improvement like wave that everybody is on maybe i would like i would like to keep that because i'm all for everyone doing feeling and being better so yeah official colors of 2016 are rose court and serenity 
What are things that you own that are those colors? Ironically, when I looked up those colors, I didn't even know what those colors are. Ironically, my vision board are those colors. So I'll try to include a side-by-side -side picture of my vision board so you guys can see that I think, like, my vision board has, yeah, pretty much those colors that, like, stick out mostly in, in them. And change would you like to what change would you like to see made in your home well I would like the my home changing first of all um another change I would like is to and to be able to um I guess have more friend type stuff like game night and little dinners and I would like to be able to do that more because it's so it's always me and my kids or it's always me going to someone else's house somewhat because even then I don't do that as much but I would like to be including I would like to include my friends that I consider family more into our space in our home and spend more time with them and stuff like that and I would like to have our Another thing I would like to change is within our own little family to spend more time together. I wish I already recorded um, the other night we did like we played a matching game with the kids. It was one of Rain's um, she got for Christmas, one of her Christmas gifts. It's like a little matching Frozen theme game and we played that and it was so much fun. It was so cute and I would like to do that more with us. I would like to, I would like for me and my husband to have more long time at home and out of the house. Because I think when we're when we miss out on time with just us, it affects our relationship and it like it makes us like like bump heads a lot. So I would like to include back in our date like our weekly um, date nights and our week like monthly getaways and stuff like that. In 2016 resolutions. I don't have any resolutions, but I have goals. So, um, there's, I have two dry eraser boards right here where I'm standing at. And I have quarterly goals that I write down so that, you know, I keep track of the things that I want to do. I break things down into the quarter versus saying, oh, the whole year. So, I'm going to read off some of the stuff that I have here that would be my first quarter goals. Um, my first goal is a stronger spiritual connection. One of my goals is to inspire someone, anyone, um, to become, become more in tune with energy. Um, study self-healing methods and homeopathic um, remedies. Um, move, which is already in motion. Uh, another one of my goals is start investing into stocks and bonds. Saving money. Um, pay off some of my debt. Increase my income. Um, interact more on YouTube, get, you know, be more into my YouTube channel, uh, uh, the trips and stuff that I said, um, learn to shoot a gun, cause I don't know how, and being that, you know, we are around like a couple of gun ranges, it's just that I never, I guess, feel strongly enough to know it, and one of my last one is to build a stockpile to survive on, survive on for six months to a year. I know I haven't really talked about it as much, but some of you guys know I do coupon. I'm still couponing. I've fallen off somewhat, but I'm starting to gain back slowly. And my goal right now is to build a stockpile for us to survive at least six months to a year on. As far as like household hygiene, um, stuff. Of course, food, some food don't la doesn't last that long, but like I tr my thing is <laughs> a lot of couponers use this, but some like don't. I want to be prepared, so I want to be prepared to survive just in case. Right now, a lot of things I haven't purchased in a while. I haven't purchased soap in a while because we I have a plethora of soap. I haven't purchased body wash, um cleaning some cleaning supplies um I just ran out of toothpaste 
and that's been like a while since I purchased two bags. So I plan to like build my stockpile up so that I don't have to purchase anything of anything of that nature for at least six months to a year. So those are some of my goals for the first quarter of the year. I'll probably revisit them back in May and some of the stuff I've I'll be done did and can add new stuff and some of the stuff I can still be working on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Until next video, I'm out.